Welcome to my video on complex numbers. What is a complex number? A complex number consists of a real part and an imaginary part. So let's take a look at this example 5 plus 3i. We have this real number 5, which is the real part of the complex number, and we also have the imaginary number 3i, which is the imaginary part of this complex number. So this number, 5 plus 3i, is what a typical complex number looks like. And in this video, I'm going to talk about adding complex numbers, subtracting complex numbers, and how to graph complex numbers. So let's get started right away with an example. So here we have 3 plus 2i being added with negative 1 plus i. And adding and subtracting complex numbers is exactly the same as any other expression. You only add and can subtract like terms. So, what are the like terms? We have the real numbers, which are like terms. We have the number 3 and the number negative 1, so we can add those together. Uh, we have 3 being added with a negative 1. And we also need to add the imaginary numbers because they're also like terms. So we have a 2i and we have a positive i, which is just 1i. So we have 2i plus 1i. And now we just need to simplify this as much as possible. In red we have 3 plus negative 1, which is a positive 2. And in blue we have 2 plus 1i. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, so that's equal to 3i. So here is our solution, 2 plus 3i. And now I want to talk to you about graphing complex numbers. And if you know how to plot points, I don't think graphing complex numbers is going to be too difficult for you. Uh, the horizontal axis is what we call the real axis, and the vertical axis is what we call the imaginary axis. So now let's go back and take a look at our complex number. We have a real number of positive 2. That means we need to go over 2 units to the right in the real direction. 1, 2. And we have an imaginary number of 3i. That means we need to go 3 units up in the imaginary direction. So go up one, two, three, and if we go over two to the right and three up, the point should be somewhere around here, and now we have plotted our point of the complex number. So now let's go over one more example. So here we have one plus the square root of negative nine minus three plus the square root of negative four. And at this point, you should know that it's not possible to have a negative inside your square root. This is what we call an imaginary number. And I'm going to rewrite uh, these negative square roots with the imaginary letter i. So we have 1 plus the square root of negative 9. So instead of the square root of negative 9, I'm going to put the square root of positive 9 times the square root of negative 1. 9 times negative 1 gives you negative 9. And that's being subtracted by 3 plus the square root of negative 4. I'm going to rewrite the square root of negative 4 as the square root of positive 4 times the square root of negative 1. 4 times negative 1 gives you negative 4. And we can simplify this even further. We have 1 plus the square root of 9. The square root of 9 we know is 3. Uh, the square root of negative 1 we know is the imaginary number i. And that's being subtracted by 3 plus the square root of 4. The square root of 4 we know is 2. And the square root of negative 1 is the imaginary number i. And now this looks pretty similar to our previous example. We're adding and subtracting, so once again, we only can add and subtract like terms. So let's add our real numbers together. We have a real number of positive 1, and we have a real number of negative 3, because we have this negative being multiplied by a positive 3, so that turns out to be a negative 3. So we have a positive 1 and a negative 3, and now we can add our imaginary terms because they're also like terms. So we have a positive 3i and we have a negative being multiplied by a positive 2i. So that turns out to be a negative uh, 2i. So we have negative 2i. And if we simplify this in red we have 1 minus 3 which is equal to negative 2. And in blue we have 3 minus 2i which is just 1i or you could just say i. So our final answer is negative 2 
plus i. And last but not least, now let's graph this complex number. We have a real number of negative 2. That means we go to the left two units in the real direction. So we go 1, 2. And we have a imaginary number of 1i. That means we need to go up one unit in the imaginary direction. So we go up one unit. So if we go to the left two and up one, our point should be somewhere around there. And now we have plotted this complex number. So I hope this video gave you a better idea about complex numbers. In my next video, I'm going to talk about multiplying and dividing complex numbers. So stay tuned for that. I really hope that you're enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.